Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. What I'm doing this morning is, and if you ever get into this part of the business where you're in the commercial end of it, where you have to get out in rain on certain days and pull nukes when the customer is ready to pick them up, it's just something that you have to accept sometimes and it's just sometimes it, you know, you catch the bees in a foul mood because it's raining and so we're going to get into this hive and and see how they're going to act i know i never really talk about this much because i do it so natural when it when it comes with a smoker but uh a smoker to me is a beekeeper's best friend because it can it can change the demeanor on the bees to from aggressive to very calm pretty quickly and uh, now it doesn't always work but most of the time it does and i'm not a big believer in over smoking your hives i believe that what you should do is you know when, when you're inspecting the hive anyway you always want to pick from from left side or the right side and because you're most you're going to have a honey frame on that side and the queen more than likely will be towards the middle and usually blowing a puff of smoke down the side of it like that one across the top like that is plenty and that's enough smoke that you need for that hive now i'm probably gonna have to put this on pause several times because i can't do this one-handed and you know i don't have a tripod or i do but i just don't use it uh, we'll see how calm this hive is I'm probably going to drop my hive tool a couple times here because I'm trying to do this one-handed. Okay. This, this one actually does have honey and brood on the end, which is a good sign because they're not packing it full of honey and they're using available space for brood as well which is good so we'll get in here and see how calm these bees are on a rainy day it's a uh, little bit of honey around the the edges and cat brood so if i can flip this around okay they seem to be pretty calm. The smoke makes a world of difference at times. It really does. Now, this could be hard to do. I'm going to have to put it on pause several times so I can uh, get this for you. So let me put it on pause. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I actually went to get my tripod, and then I remembered I had broke it. So now I've just got it leaned up against the box here. I'm going to see how this works here. I don't know how much you can see of me with this so I do have a veil on just in case I get popped an eye but I'm gonna go through it and we'll find the queen let's put another little puff of smoke this has been a couple minutes since I smoked them now remember it's a day they should be pretty mean so it's hazy it's it's morning it's about 7 30 around about 7 30 and one did pop me on the thumb there just a second ago. So far, that's all I've got. But um, this looks like a pretty good. Hopefully, this will show up here the way I got it set up. Let's see if we can see it on the camera good. Do a little hive inspection. This is a pretty good little size colony. I'm setting this up to sell, so that, I mean that's what that's what I'm doing here. I'm pulling the nuke out to sell, and I'm just trying to locate the queen. I was trying to scrape the bees off the side of it and lay it down against the box, against the box that you're its box. Never set it against another box because you can, the queen may go right into to the wrong box. So let's see 
we can find that queen. So far, all the brood is pretty good pattern. It's uh, ideally for for uh, propagation of bees. Uh, what you're looking for is a is is a band of honey and the rest brood, or a little bit of pollen, you know, of course. Uh, but brood is your friend because that's what that's what's regenerating your your stock. So I'm trying to find the queen. Anytime you see how the bees are gathering on the bottom of the frame, I usually just scrape them off. They should be pretty angry. It's a, uh, they seem to be pretty good. It just, so far, We can spot that queen. This customer here wanted their queen painted, painted, marked. Maybe we can find her. We've got to have these down at the store by 10 o'clock. Luckily, for today there's only two nukes going out because we've we've fulfilled our orders for the year and now we're just picking up customers pretty much as they call an order so that's what we're doing now this frame here is a uh, Got a little bit of brood. Well, actually, a lot of brood. A little frame of honey right up here. You've got a band of honey here. Uh, a little bit of pollen. This one actually has less brood than the, out, the other outside frame, but still good. Anytime you get a a frame that's more than half brood on the end, that's pretty good. So we can spot that queen. Quite a few bees in here. It's always when you get a lot of bees it's more difficult to find them and then there's always that chance she's down on the side of the, the box <clears throat> so far I spotted one hive beetle and then I noticed and anytime that I've, I go through these hives and I see one or two hive beetles I'll look and look for my beetle trap and it'll be one that I've missed putting a trap in. It just, I'm telling you, those things work. Those beetle barns can bait them up and they work very well. They make a huge difference. Okay. If it gets to take too much time, what I'll do, I'll put it on pause, find the queen, and then resume filming. I hate to take up a lot of time. The good thing is they're really calm in this rain. It's actually stopped raining, but just as I come out here, it stopped. But it's still really wet and dreary and still not spotting her. Possibly on the side. Uh, A little bit of burr comb. I always get that burr comb off because as you're pulling your frames up, if you have burr comb like this on the side and you leave it, there's always that chance you could roll that queen and look there. <laughs> Wasn't that a coincidence? I was going to show how that burr comb could kill the queen, and right there she is. Right there. Hope you can pick this up on the camera right there. So, this customer wanted it marked. So, what I'll do. I'm gonna have to catch this thing left hand so you can see it on camera. Okay, there's a queen. What I'll do, I got my pen ready. It's kind of awkward doing it with this hand because I'm not used to, I used to catch her in my right hand. 
just a little bit awkward. Let me see if I can flip her around. Okay. Now I got her because I used to grab her with my right fingers. And I'll let her grip a hold of my fingers like that and hold her. And right there's our queen. We'll put a little dot on her. Because so the customer wanted it marked. So there we are. Got a little, little dot. And what I'll do now. Okay, here's, here's the, the frame. And what I do, I let her reach out to the frame. Let her walk right on like that, and you see her right there. She goes. I'm hoping this. I got this angle right here shown on the camera, but right there she is. Good mark. Now I'm gonna move this over to the to the the empty nuke. Now I'll pick up my camera. We'll carry the. You can see it right there on the bottom. Keep my eye on her. Eye on her. Okay, let me put it on pause here so I can get a free hand. Okay, I got her in there. And that's basically all I wanted to show the, this morning was uh, my camera's getting ready to run out of memory space. And that's just basically I wanted, what I wanted to show is how we pull a nuke out and how you can do this in the wet and rain. It does fine. Uh, the bees are really good and gentle. Uh, don't forget we'll have queens all the way through November, October, hopefully. Uh, we're selling, pre-selling packages nukes uh, barnyardbees.com to order uh, beetle barns whatever you need we got it at the store don't forget to click on the little bell like and subscribe thanks for watching barnyard bees